Hi guys, welcome to Camilla's Q Creations. My name is Camilla and I crochet plushies. So for today's video, I'm going to be crocheting the famous Nessie the Loch Ness Monster. People say that working with fluffy yarn is hard, but I'm going to prove them wrong. So here's the challenge. Can a 12 year old crocheter crochet Nessie the Loch Ness Monster using fluffy yarn and only make it in 18 hours? So the challenge is on. Okay, guess what I got in the mail today? My yarn. Let's open it. Okay, so here it is. I can take a sneak peek at the yarn. So here's the yarn. It's a size five. So I did get, get five skeins of this. And that should be enough to complete one Nessie. Okay, so I just bought the pattern and I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed by how many instructions there is and how many pages there is. But we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so I did finish rounds one to seven. And working with this yarn is fairly easy. It's not really hard. When I was making the magic ring and I couldn't see my stitches, I was like, oh gosh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And then I actually tried doing it. And then I was like, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. And then I eventually got the hang of it. And so I am excited to see where this pattern will take me. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I got done so far. So I actually did this huge chunk. And I'm sorry for not recording the whole process. But yeah. I'm not sure if I'm shaping the head right. I think I am. So here is the shape of the head. And then I'm starting to make the neck of Nessie. And I still have this yarn left. So I think we're going pretty good so far. Okay, so now I need to finish the neck. So now I'm gonna start working on the body. Right now, it looks like a decrease because I haven't um, stretched it and there's no stuffing right now, but it will get bigger. Um, but so far, so good. Okay, so I am back and this is what I have done of the Nessie. I just did some single crochet rounds. Here is the head. This is the whole neck. I haven't stuffed this part of the neck yet. And this is the body. So yeah. <music> Okay guys, bad lighting right now, but I just finished making rounds and now we're gonna start decreasing the body. So, oh, this is getting huge. Like this is actually getting kind of large. So this is how far I got yesterday. And um, I finished my second ball of yarn. 
guys nessie is getting bigger look like i'm just finishing her body so now i'm gonna start stretching the body and then stuffing it okay guys so i finished stuffing the body so it's not completely stuffed but it is stuffed um so now we're gonna start crocheting the tail and then that's it. So then I would complete the body of the Nessie. Then I would have to do the fins, four fins, and then the ears, and then the spikes, and then so everything. And then that should be it. But this is huge. This is really huge. So I just finished row 100. I don't know. I just felt like I had to come on camera just to say that. Okay guys, so I just finished making the body of Nessie and I need to show you it because it is humongous. Oh my goodness, this is so huge and it's so long. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I finally finished the body. So I decided to get a head start on the fins and I completed one. I think I'm gonna call it a night and leave Nessie for tomorrow. <music> So I just finished making the four fins. So now I have to make the ears. Okay, guys. So I just finished making the ears for the Nessie. So now the last part that we have to crochet before assembling everything are the spikes. Okay, so I think the colors that I'm going to use for the spikes are these three colors. So I have like a light pink, a lavender color, and then this misty green color. I think that should be nice and that would give me an even number of spikes. Today is the day. I'm gonna finish Nessie today no matter what happens. Okay, so I did finish making the spikes and I have them on the Nessie with toothpicks. I'll show you it right now. Okay, so here is the Nessie, and as you can see, it is being held together by some toothpicks, and I'm really not sure about the colors that I chose. I mean, they're the only pastel colors that I have, so I'll just have to go with this color combination, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Like... I don't know, is it too dark for the Nessie? I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure about this color combination at all. I'm I'm kind of like hating it and kind of liking it at the same time. I need help, but I know that I'm gonna leave it like this because these are the only pastel colors that I have. So I'm kind of debating right now if I should sew on all of the spikes and then do like the fins, the ears, all of that? Or should I do like the fins and ears and then do the spikes? So I think I'm gonna be sewing on the spikes. I'm not sure if that is a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay guys, so I finished sewing on the spikes to the Nessie and I'm gonna show you it. Oh my goodness, just look at it this is so cute it kind of reminds me of a dinosaur um but i think when i put on the fins and the ears it's gonna look more like nessie yeah the spikes are like so cute 
I'm still debating if I should put a tailpiece. I wanted to do a bow like Crochet by Jenna, but I really don't want to pay for a pattern. Um, so I might just leave it like that. I want to do a star, but then again, I don't have any yellow on the spikes. So, yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I have to sew on um, are the fins and then the ears, and then I have to embroider her eyes. And then I'll go on to YouTube and see if I could put something for the tail because it's kind of bothering me. Okay, guys, so I finished Nessie, and no joke, this is like the cutest plush you have ever made. Here she is. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. And I actually did buy the bow pattern from Crochet by Jenna because I was like, look, she needs a bow. So I did make her a bow. And oh my goodness, it brings even more cuteness to Nessie. The eyes, look, she's sleeping. Oh, she's so beautiful. Like, oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, so right now you're going to see a lot of clips of Nessie because I need to bring her justice because she is so adorable. Okay, guys, so here is Nessie. She is so huge. Oh my goodness. Like, it's like the perfect plushie. And look at her bow. Isn't it like just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? And this yarn is so fluffy. So let's go back to the challenge question. Can a 12-year-old crochet Nessie the Loch Ness Monster using fluffy yarn under 18 hours? Absolutely yes. This actually took me around 17 hours and using fluffy yarn, it's not the end of the world. It's not that hard and it's not that easy. I think someone with experience can crochet this, but for a beginner, you probably just want to stay away from this pattern until you have some experience and then you can challenge yourself to make this. So this is my certificate for completing Nessie. So this certifies that I, Camilla, officially patiently created Nessie Monster and I am proud of myself. And yeah, so I finished it August 2nd and I am so proud of my Nessie. Okay guys, so thank you for coming to today's vlog, but before you leave, please make sure to like and subscribe because that really helps support my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!